AJ, I think you're doing such a better job of, of making yourself go turn. But now I want to see, instead of you being locked out, look at your back leg. Look how locked out that thing is. It's straight as an arrow, right? This has to have some bend in your knee. you got to be strong so that when we land, I can be in, like, this position with your back leg facing the other way, right? So that your leg is like this where it's bent like that, and this leg would be bent like that. And that's going to really help you support yourself as we start moving forward. Now, landing spot, like other than your back leg being a little given up, like your barrel's in a good spot, your arms are still deep to be able to create spacing for yourself. And we had we stretched really well, right, from our hands to our foot. Okay, and then as we go and rotate, yeah, maybe we pull with our body a little bit, or, or I'm sorry, with our hands a little bit to get our barrel there. And that's why, you know, I was 51 opposed to it being 56 or whatever your top was. And like I told Austin, let's make sure that after we hit the ball, it's not just right out of the zone, right? Let's go hit the ball hard because our body is firm, our body is strong, and don't let it bounce you backwards and slow you down. You got to accelerate through contact and keep your body moving. Um, but again, most importantly, if you're taking anything away from it, is this back leg. That back leg can never go straight. That back leg is trying to be as strong as you can for as long as you can until your foot hits ground and then you go rip it. Resist falling down. Don't push yourself into the ground.